First, I'm going to download the layout card component from Hacks. Once it's downloaded, press Reload to refresh Home Assistant. If you don't see the option to use the layout card later on, you either need to clear your browser cache or power down your Home Assistant host and power it back on again. I'll also be using the Mushroom Card component, but I already have this downloaded on my Home Assistant. Head over to the Edit View page on your dashboard. If the layout card is downloaded correctly, you'll see the layout card options listed. In this video, I'll be using the grid card layout. The dashboard I'm creating will have four columns. The outside left and right column will be blank and act as a margin. I'll also create a header for the title of the page and a footer for additional entities to be placed. Grid rows can be kept as auto. Grid template columns is where you define how wide you want the columns to be. So for this example, both my margins width will take up 20% of the page's width and the two cards I'm creating will take up 30% of the page's width. The grid template area is how you define where and how you want the columns or margins and footers to be placed. The naming convention you use here is completely customizable. Just make sure you take note of each one for use later on. In this example, I'm using H for my header. C, one, two, three, and four are my four separate columns and F is going to be my footer. The first card I'll create is a header. For this, I'm just going to use a simple markdown card with some formatting and including a title for my dashboard. I've put this markdown card inside of a horizontal stack just in case I wanted to easily add bits to this later on. It's not necessary and you could just use the markdown card by itself or whatever card you plan on using for your header. Now I'm just going to add code via the code editor to include the card mod component. This will now remove the background and border on this card. Now the card is complete, I just need to tell it where to go on the dashboard. To do this, go back into the card, click on show code editor and add view layout to the very bottom of the card. Then you just need to include the grid template area you defined in the edit view page. So in this case, I'm using H1, which is my header. Next, I'm going to create a grid card. Inside the grid, I'll include the weather, a live view of my camera, and a card to show whether I'm home or not. The device tracker I'm using here is a ping tracker. Home Assistant continuously sends a ping to my phone to check if it's connected to my home network or not. If it gets a response from my phone, then Home Assistant will assume that the device is at home and vice versa if it doesn't get a response. Check out my previous video where I add this device tracker into Home Assistant.
Once you're happy with your layout, click save. And again, we'll need to tell the card where to go on the dashboard. For this next card, I'm going to paste in a card that I created in my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description to a video showing how I created this card. I want this card to be central next to the first card I created. So the grid position in this case will be C2. So again, go into the card you just created, show code editor and add view layout at the very bottom of the card. I want everything on the dashboard to be aligned, so I'm just going to make the weather card a little bit bigger. Finally, I'm going to add my footer. For this, I'm going to place everything within a separate layout card. Just like the grid layout we created in the edit view page, we can do the same, but this time we can define grid positions within a card rather than the whole dashboard. On this example, I'll have two margins within my card at 30% width and a central card at 40% width. I'll use a slightly different naming convention just to show you that it is in fact completely customizable. Again, just take note of the names that you use. For the contents of this card, I'll be using mushroom chips from the custom mushroom card component from Hacks. I've marked the alignment as center, so all of the chips I add in this card will be centrally aligned. Just like the other cards on this dashboard, we'll need to tell it where we want it to be positioned within the layout card using the name we defined. So in this case, it will be card two.
Once you're happy with the contents of the footer, we'll need to tell the layout card where it needs to be positioned on the dashboard using the naming convention we used in the edit view page. So the name that I use for my footer is F1. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also leave a comment for anything you would like to see in future videos.